What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, as you can see, we're not virtual, we're actually here, so you can see both our the faces. The same house. Yeah, you can see both our faces equally this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we were just playing hockey outside and uh, decided to come in to record a little video. Uh, so let's get straight to it. Uh, as you can see by the title of this video, you already know what we're talking about. It's a topic that Ilias really wanted to talk about for a while now. So I'm going to give him the floor here. Is Brendan just, Gallagher? I'll just start off. Montreal Canadiens. All right. Uh, Brendan Gallagher resigns. What is the contract? Six years, $39 million. $6.5 million cap it. Okay. Yeah. So starting off, I like the term. Brendan Gallagher, six years. He's what? 28, 29. Prime years. He could. He still puts up a lot of uh, points. Six point five million. That's about right for I'd say a thirty goal scorer. We would say similar to Nylander. Yeah. He's a little bit of a pest too, similar to Marshan and Kadri. Brings that to Montreal's game, like which they need. So I don't think they were gonna let him go. Maybe the year is a little bit, like six years. Yes, six years is good. Like you have him for those years. He'll be a little bit on the decline towards maybe the last year or two. But for majority of the contract, I'd say it's, it's a good contract. Like what is it? What was he getting before? I think it was about four point five five. Like. So one point five two mil isn't like too much. I think no. Montreal, regardless of what, like what he wanted, and I think he got a reasonable. It's like it's not. I wouldn't say it's like. I'd say it's about like fair what he should get. So they didn't overpay for him. So you like it? Yeah, I think it's a good signing. Um, Hard and soul of Montreal's team. He's, yeah, I, did like, you think you can't? I can't see. There's some players you can't see on different teams. Yeah. Brendan Gallagher is that player. I just couldn't see him on a different team. Uh -huh. But the whole thing that was interesting about this to me was the drama behind it. I don't know if you heard. But, so. Apparently, it was reported yesterday mm -hmm. um, when he signed. Right before he signed, it was reported that um, talks broke. That means they, they stopped talking. Uh, him Between him and the uh, the GM of the Canadians, they all stopped talking. And it was it, it felt like it was done. It felt like mm -hmm. there was nothing more to say. Yeah. And then right when that uh, gets released, everyone thought it. All the big insiders, Elliot Friedman, Chris Johnson, everyone. And then right when that mm -hmm. was released... Boom, he signs a six-year deal. Yeah. I just find that interesting. Um, I know there's a lot of rumor going the, um, about him going to Vancouver. And we'll talk about the whole Jim Bennington, Vancouver situation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We'll talk about that. But just to start off with Montreal, Brendan Gallagher, you need to re-sign him. This is some guy you, you just couldn't afford to let go. And I think the, yeah. I think Montreal noticed that when, when, um, when Brendan Gallagher said, uh, I'm done talking. I think Montreal noticed that Okay. They have to give him at least like what he's worth. Right? Yeah, and and they couldn't play around with it. Yeah, a lot of people had him making more money than Taylor Hall this year, and we'll talk about Taylor Hall as well. But uh, yeah, we got uh, some new news on Taylor. Yeah, Hall. some new so news like, on Taylor Hall. Yeah. Uh, so we'll talk more about that uh, as well. But just saying, we like this deal. It's a good deal, uh, both ways. And everyone, I'm telling you, everyone had uh, Taylor Hall making more money than Brendan Gallagher, or sorry, Brendan Gallagher making more money than Taylor Hall. So it's interesting that. Um, Wait, who said that though? Um, I, just... I believe that was Elliot Friedman, Chris Johnson, really? I, uh, James I mean, Myrtle of TSN as well. Firstly, who would you rather have on your team? I'd rather have Taylor Hall. I'd have rather have Brendan Gallagher. <laughs> really? That's a little controversial. I mean, he's a listen. Comment down below who would you rather have, yeah. Brendan Gallagher or a Taylor Hall? Here's we'll we'll, we'll both make the, our cases. Brendan Gallagher, center. No 30, winger. No, he plays center as well. He can play center. He has the ability. I've seen him against Elise. He's played center a couple times. Out of the way. Was his normal position by a winger. But okay, sure. Okay, whatever. Let's just say he's a winger. Both wingers. Okay. Let's just reread the numbers. Brandon Gallagher, 30 goal scorer. Taylor Hall, Taylor Hall excuse me, uh, 30 goal scorer. Um, Brandon Gallagher, far less points, right? He's averaging 50, 60 points. Uh, Taylor Hall is averaging Point nine, game, 90 which. points. However, Brandon Gallagher brings something that Taylor Hall doesn't. Yeah. And that's... The ability to make every single human being on the ice hate you. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it with Marshand a lot. We saw it with Kadri. Everyone hated him if you weren't the fan of the team. Mm -hmm. so, the thing is, it really depends on what exact, kind of team you have. It depends like, on your team. I mean, if you're asking me for like one game, like who would I rather have for like in terms of that offensive production superstar level, like we've seen Taylor Hall get to that level. It depends your, on your team. If it's a big game, I want Brandon Gallagher because... Just depends on what... Because I doing. know the physicality, first of all, he's going to bring. He might not score, but he's going to be pesky. That's he's going to piss off the other team if he's not yeah. scoring. I think it just depends on the team. Exactly, but I think for one game, a game seven, any game, you could have one of those two players. I'd have Brandon Gallagher because I think Taylor Hall could easily have an off game and once if Taylor Hall is not scoring or passing, what is he doing? Right? I guess. It depends. So, 
Yeah, that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's just talk about Montreal Canadiens in general. They also made a signing, um, Jake Allen, which is uh, I think it's not surprising at all. But it's a decent contract. Good, good contract, man. He's a decent goalie. Thing is, I just think Montreal have a lot of like they have almost four. I think a fourteen million dollars wrapped on their goalies. That's a little bit of an issue, but I mean, if Price can still produce, Allen's a good backup. I don't really see a problem. I don't even see Allen as a backup. I see him more as a platoon. Listen, I've been saying it every video, and I'm gonna keep saying it every video. There's going to be a whole heck of a lot of back-to-backs um, this next season. Mm-hmm. And I can guarantee you, and everyone knows it, the GMs all know it, and that's why everyone's getting the platoon situation. I don't care. He, listen, look, look at this. You have Carey Price in that. However, you still need a good backup because you know Jake Allen's going to get a lot of games. And it's important. And also, Price, he's getting older now. You know, uh, he's not as young like, as what, he... like, 32? Yeah, he's not as young as he used to be. Um, and so I'm going to... check how old is he right now? Um... 30, he's 33, 33 yeah. right? So he's getting older. Um, you don't want him to be playing back-to-backs, right? Because mm-hmm. that's how you injure him. Um, Especially, like, come playoff time, you're going to need those, like, double... You need those back-to-back wins, you know? Like, yeah, that second exactly. game. I mean, listen, as Leaf fans, points, we've yeah. seen it... Exactly. So. We've seen it too often. I think we're only... You need a goalie. You like, need a backup goalie. Consistent... Our really only consistent backup was McElhaney. We could say Scrivens for that one season. But Can't it, we? Oh, Scrivens. Oh, yeah. we're going back to 2013. That's the least I like. By the way, I, I know I notice that every time we talk about any conversation, we always bring it back to the Leafs. Mm-hmm. But the, um, yeah, that's just because we're diehard fans. Anyway, mm-hmm. we won't. We'll stop doing that. Like we're yeah, not those we'll, type of Leafs. We'll fans. stop. It's just yeah. hard. It's hard. I'm okay. very excited. Also, one thing I wanted to bring up. Um, do you think there's gonna be any offer sheets this year? Mm. Last year's Montreal actually offered. There are a lot of arbitrations going on. He did offer Montreal did offer Sebastian Ajo uh, an offer sheet last year, and he oh, did accept it. But that. then Carolina matched it. Yeah, Carolina. So could we see it. one maybe with Matt Barzell? Or... Oh, that's interesting. The thing is, I don't know how many teams have the cap space to do that this year. Mm-hmm. You, do you know what I mean? I think it's like some one of those teams, you know, like a Detroit or yeah. Unless you're looking at Detroit, and we'll talk about that again, Detroit and Ottawa, because they're interesting topics. But speaking of Ottawa, yeah, speaking of Ottawa, they made a signing today. We'll talk about that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, overall, so far Montreal's off season, I thought it was going to be worse, and because after the Max Domi, I just had them having a terrible off season. But they got Brandon Gallagher and Jake Allen on good contracts, so mm-hmm. I respect you. I respect that. Watch out, you never know, right? Yeah, so far Montreal. Heard- I've heard, honestly, uh, some people saying that Montreal on paper is better than the Leafs in Boston for this season. I don't know if it's if Pasternak or and Marshawn being out. Pasternak and Marshawn, you heard that, right? No, what's going on? They're both out. Really? Full for, season? No, Pasternak's out until at least missing two months, and Marshawn's missing at least one month. They both had surgeries. Well, okay, so, here's the thing. We don't know when the season starts. And we don't know with Boston, honestly. They can, like, like they're saying yeah. January 1st, but at the start, it was December. Now it's January. I hear a lot of rumors about yeah. March. Like... We don't know when the season is starting. Yeah. Regardless so, of Boston, you know them. Like they could still be a consistent team. I, we can't. I'll talk. We'll talk about Boston in a different video because I have a whole rant about okay. Boston. Do you want to move on to Evgeny Dadnov? Yeah. So we'll. Uh, so that's our overall so far uh, letter grade for uh, Montreal. Montreal's off season. I'll give them a B. I think mm-hmm. they've done average so far. Yeah. Max Domi was pretty bad. I'll give him a B minus because yeah, Max probably Domi. B minus. If it wasn't for the Gallagher resigning, like he, if he's gone yeah. easily a C, like I'd give him a D. D. Yeah, yeah, like, but Gallagher, Jake Allen, good signings. Well done, yeah. well done, Montreal. I think you guys, okay. I think you guys have a good future there. Mm-hmm. 